We continue with our coverage of Sunday's plane crash off the Carteret County coast. The Carteret County Sheriff's Office releasing all the names of those on board, including four students from East Carteret High School. Ernest and Jeffrey Rawls, Stephanie McGinnis Fulcher, Jonathan McGinnis, Douglas Parks, Noah Stryon, Michael Shepard, and Jacob Taylor. Late this afternoon, investigators held a news conference to update the recovery efforts. Now to your side, Cheyenne Pagan joins us now live from Carteret County. So Cheyenne, what are those new updates tonight? Ken, the updates, the main things they were able to release was that they were able to locate the main body of the plane as well as some of the remains of the passengers, but they would not go into any details about the remains that were recovered. We do know they found and identified one of the bodies yesterday. They say they were able to locate some personal items like electronics. They say their primary mission has been to recover the passengers who were on board the plane and add to recover any equipment. They say they're also grateful for the community's response to this. Prior to coming to Carteret County, I'd heard quite often the term Carteret Strong, particularly in the aftermath of Hurricane Florence. Over the course of the last two and a half days, I've absolutely seen what it means to be Carteret Strong. The school system says that counselors, psychologists, and a crisis team will be available for students and families at this time. The schools in the area will be wearing blue and gold tomorrow in support of those victims, as well as camo on Thursday. And as the community continues to mourn, there will be multiple vigils and ways for you at home to help support the families. Live in Carteret County, Cheyenne Pagan 9 on your side.